Welcome everyone to the L7C podcast, My Hero Academia edition. Today we have a reaction, breaking news, special uh, My Hero episode for you guys today. And this one was called on by the My Hero enthusiast, Andrea Alanese. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I am doing well. I am doing well. This was the first time where other people on the podcast have called for like emergency podcasts when things have happened in their respective thing that they talk about. This is the first time where you were the one reaching out saying, hey, can we do an episode on this episode, Dobby's Dance? And I was just like, sure. At that point, when you said that I hadn't watched the episode yet. So then once. Oh, I really? Actually, you hadn't? Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got to. I got to watch everything else for everyone else's stuff. That's true. So it was on the rotating thing. And then when I finally watched it, and I was just like, hmm. Yep. <laughs> all right. I, I had a feeling because it was trending all day on all social media sites. And then time you type in Dobby's name, now it pops up on the browsers of Google and all that. So, yeah, um, we're going to get into this. We are going to do like just quick 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 things about this episode before we get into the main main thing of this episode so this episode was episode well episode total 124th episode of my hero academia this episode was adapted by the chapter 290 of the manga and it just came out this past saturday and just a little quick hitter things Blue Genus is back. That was such a great freaking moment. Oh my God. I didn't. Okay. So I didn't know ahead of time. Like it was spoiled for me that he was still alive and, you know, he came back. I didn't realize that he was going to pop up the same time as the, like, oh. And also while I was watching the actual episode, because it, it, it starts, it starts with him, you know, popping up and you're like, oh my God, yes, he's back. But like he's in some sort of airship. So, it's like he's, you know, on the way. And then with everything else that happened in the episode, I was like, oh, my God, is he not going to show up this episode? Is this where we're going to leave this episode? And then, boom, right before end credits, Blue Genius is on the scene right after during, you know, Dobby's little reveal video. He spliced in there real quick footage of Hawks. And I will say that's one of my, like, personal gripes about Dobby's video is because, I mean, most everything else you know, he's talking from his own experience, hitting the nail on the head, and then he throws in there, manipulates the narrative around Hawks killing twice. And so since it's sandwiched in there with basically what hopefully will eventually be confirmed is true, because we know it's true. We we as the audience know it's true from Todoroki flashbacks, from <sighs> shit for brains, <laughs> Todoroki's, <laughs> NG Todoroki's uh flashbacks to when he was an asshole quote unquote when he was but like so we all know it's true so when hopefully he cops to it eventually people are gonna doubt hawks's involvement in that killing and all that good stuff because it's hard to believe it's hard to believe any of that video as some of the we see some people's reactions to it but damn damn there was just Ah, oh, so much going on all at the same time. And it was such a such a great episode. So I was seeing the differences between the manga and the anime, which I feel like the anime ruined some of the stuff from the manga. So like Blue really? Genus Blue Genus wasn't shown in that plane in the manga. He was oh. shown at the very last part. So you didn't even know you just well, you can't hear his voice. You're reading like someone say the same stuff he did. Oh, so, oh shit! So that was even a oh. So you get an even bigger surprise. Yes, um, that that it, yeah okay. And then for Yumi, she they don't show her seeing Dobby's um video. Mm -hmm. So she's just I don't know what the hell she is. She's she is I, it doing... looks like it kind of looks like if you remember nine eleven that the TV was just on and the teachers were all like watching along with us. That's kind of what that scene reminded me of since she is like an elementary school teacher so but that's that, that's good to know because i didn't know that i've still never read the manga so i i didn't also, know that and i didn't see that anywhere on the internet and besides like the blue genus thing i guess one of the biggest things is that 
when that video is going on, they don't show this. The nurses actually rush into Shoto's mom's thing. Good. Oh, my God. Good. I was wondering about that because, like, they show his mom just kind of watching the screen. And it's like she's literally in this essentially mental hospital because of the psychotic break that she suffered due to the abuse in that house. But the only thing we really hear about her is, again, shit for brains and G. Todoroki's internal dialogue talking about like, oh, Ray wanted more siblings so they could support each other. And I'm like. Also, bitch, what? <laughs> as soon as she saw. Dobby. Mm -hmm. she knew that was who we're going to talk about right she's never seen him before like never before right. the so like as soon as she like turned on the tv like she instantly mother's intuition you can say but she instantly knew while all the others had to wait so just going another quick things they're all still fighting for their lives it's it's still super bad like oh yeah midoriya was <laughs> smacking around and Midoriya was smacking around Shigaraki, and Midoriya is down bad. Shigaraki's holding on, which is bad. Ida came, doesn't really matter. No right. disrespect. Um, <laughs> Bakugo's literally, they said he was hitting his internal organs. That's not good. Right, but, but he's like, bitch, I'm going to stand here and fight. And it's like, yeah, oh, well. oh, oh, okay. So I guess those weren't fatal hits, which all honestly feels to me a little bit like plot armor. Because like if <laughs> all for one is just like stabbing you with one of his random quirks through the center of your body how does he not pierce your heart and how does he not pierce your lung yeah, like that's that's terrible um what else i did quick things too i did like before the whole thing i did like seeing a big three member actually fighting with shoto yes Nick oh Pato my god and, yes um, Neji Ray cool. pulling up yes i loved that and then sub side too you had the uh, they've really i guess you can say they found a kin kind of to each other with uraka and uh what you gonna call it oh uh, what is her name toga toga yeah because oh yeah they, they right, have right. A kin i'm sorry i everything else kind of eclipsed that part of the episode for me I know. it was very important it was. but like i also when i saw that matchup happen i was like "Ooh, this is not going to turn out well like this if they if they fight one on one, this is not going to turn out well. Well, then, Uraka, course, she held her own. She did some new did. things. Proppy saved her, and they had their exactly. little their yep. girl thing. So whatever with that. Um, big thing that's wrecked three fourths of every hero on planet Japan over there. He <laughs> is there now, so it just made things worse. Mm -hmm. uh, the last thing I want to get to Blue Genus is the way they had him on that freaking ship, but not ship jet or whatever. Made it seem like he's the secret weapon, which I get, number three hero. But I also have a problem with the power scaling. He is right. like the number three hero. But you're telling me this one dude can hold all of those people when we have like a hundred plus heroes and Mount Lady couldn't hold on to little Giga Man over there? Right. Like he well, just showed my, up and he did it. My he, thing was like, it wasn't necessarily, I, I guess like it could be seen as a power scaling problem. I didn't think of it that way. I thought it was odd i didn't know he like, was that much stronger than everyone else there because he's doing he, that alone i don't think he is though i think what happened or the way i you know rationalized it in my head was that you know he controls fibers i don't know if they specifically said denim or like just fibers in general but they brought like special ginormous fucking something they didn't really say what it was and he was controlling that to like wrap them all up constrain them so i'm guessing it's some sort of special fiber that either normally he doesn't have access to, maybe nobody really has access to it, and it was specifically brought out for this reason. I, I guess I'll give him, I'm going to give him the benefit of doubt that it's his normal stuff, because the last time he fought, it was against All for One, and All for One put a hole in his chest, but that's All for One. That's true. Like, just think about how he showed up, and like, the amount of control, he grabbed everyone. Like, mm -hmm. the giant thing, the giant thing's a big thing in itself. But he saved Endeavor, Midoriya. He, they were going to die because he was going to do Flash Fist, Prominence Burn, which you saw what he did to freaking Shigaraki, and they're not... Oh, right, and this is blue, blue, flame, blue Flame, not even normal, right. And yeah. he was able to grab him, and his stuff didn't burn. So I'm like... So we're just deciding. Once we once the big monster got to the city, we're just going to drop Blue Genus off. Maybe we should have dropped him off a little earlier because once this is all done... 
and we see the amount of casualties the heroes right. took. Not even just the heroes, the civilians, though, because I mean, they kind oh, yeah. of they kind of hint at it with him t- with <laughs> Gigantaman like running through these cities, just yeah. the most direct path possible. He's mowing down apartment buildings, offices, hospitals. No regard for anything, which is, you know, his mindset. So whatever. But I mean, you see little flashes of scenes where like you can potentially see that like rubble has crushed somebody or like people are like crying and weeping that somebody's down. So like the amount of civilian casualties is going to be extremely high. And it doesn't matter how many people the hero saved or how many heroes got killed. All they're going to care about is the number of people that still died despite the preemptive nature that they had, you know, some forethought pre-planning it. I agree that, you know, when Tsukuichi was like, oh, he needs his master's command to move. So he's not important. How stupid, like, come on. You always expect the unexpected. And even, even if that's true, even if he never became a problem, why not just fucking restrain him to start? Yeah, because why not point... throw Blue Genus in there to restrain his app ass if he really was the go to restrainer? Like, yeah, why at this point? It's it's not even them like winning per se. It's we know that some, most of these, well, the people who are at the main fight are going to survive, but now, so I guess when Shigaragi and them eventually retreat, but it's like going to be at what cost? Well, right, that's the thing is like, as much as because during this episode. All for one is literally telling him, like, you need to fucking leave. You need mm-hmm. to fucking retreat. You need and Shigaraki's being a stubborn brat again. And like, yeah, nah, fam, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna get him right here. And he's yeah. basically a burnt off husk. Like, dude, you are inches from death. What do you mean you're not gonna run? No. But yeah. in my head, when I was watching that, I was like, number one, thank God they got him to a point where they have to run because these heroes need to regroup. And it's terrible. Because this whole plan was to prevent, basically the whole idea was make this preemptive preemptive move, stop the whole war before it can officially start. Yep. And And basically what they did is they poked the bear. Technically they got Shigaraki before he was at peak form, which is great. But if he retreats, he's got time to uh, potentially become peak form, which is even more of a problem. Yeah. And also... They're just gonna break the doctor out of jail, or I don't even think he's gonna get to the doctor. Jail. Needs to be dead. Why the fuck? I st- I stand by my stance that Doctor Eggman wannabe needs to be dead. Like, why, President Mike? Why are you dragging his ass around everywhere, letting him live, talking mad shit in your face? Just leave him to die. Like he would end up getting crushed by rubble, stepped on something by his own making, because. All of this is not his fault directly, but he's basically, you know, second in command. Um, yeah, he he is second in command, and I'm well before. Well, I guess I'll throw this tip out too that he is actually the one who found Dobby. You think so? No, I I know so. Oh, okay. I, was, <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. I did. I did not know that. After this up, like I had to because I read like that chapter and then. Mm. Just that specific one, and then like this, and then like seeing the stuff. So he's the one who got him. Doesn't say how. I stopped after the stuff, but let's just get right into it. So a lot of people, Andrew, are literally calling this potentially the best My Hero episode ever in the 124 things. I mean, this one, I really thought the Hawks episode was the best one of season six. Mm -hmm. Now it's this one. Obviously, you have stuff from like season four with like Lemillion and Midoriya versus Overhaul. Uh, you had stuff with All Might and um, All for One, like those type of episodes, the three versus Stain. But like this mm-hmm. one right now, literally breaking the internet and people are deeming it the best episode of My Hero. Is Do you think it's the best episode? That I, I definitely put it among the best, 100%. I very much have difficulty deciding what my favorite anything is, what the best anything is like, to, like you, you know, me, mm. anybody that's listened to most of my podcast or me being on podcast knows I can't fucking decide anything. But while I was watching it, all I could keep thinking to myself is this is peak anime. This is peak storytelling. This is 
this is the pinnacle of where, I mean, because a lot of us had already gotten it spoiled that, you know, he was, he was who we thought he was. But not, However, I didn't know, that I mean, are, we did not know it was going to be like that. Right, though. right. That's true too. But like at the same time, like, I don't know if I would put it like above the Midoriya overhaul fight. I don't, I don't know. I wonder if it's because of the, like, the gravity of the reveal. It was extremely well done. I'm not taking away from that at all. But I wonder if part of it is just the enorm- enormity of that reveal that puts it, that puts, makes people want to say it is the absolute best episode. Like, that's, yeah. that's my hesitation for agreeing that it's the best one in addition to my, you know, tendency to not pick a favorite. <laughs> Yeah, because when I watched it, I was just quiet. Like, once it got to the part, which we've been teasing forever. So, Andrew, go ahead and tell what happened when, once Dobby entered the battlefield. Once Dobby entered the battlefield. Oh, my God. When he dumped that bucket of water on his hair and was like, I expected my family to recognize me. Holy shit. Oh, my God. And then he brought up the best fucking point about, like, and ever, bruh, ha- it's not like fire quirks are a dime a dozen. Like, what? B- Hello? Even before that, just for everyone to know, one, he, ha- he had one little dude hack every TV in Japan. Yes. So at yes. first, I was just like, oh, my gosh. And then he sat there. He said his first, he started off. He's like, sorry to interrupt your broadcast. And he was sitting there. It was pre-recorded. So this has been recorded. We don't know when, but it was pre-recorded. I wonder if it was before he even joined the league. Uh, That's he's, my... he's had this. I, uh, I guess this we, is would, long we game. would know he when is it was long game for sure. We would know when it was actually recorded because the paternity test he used Endeavor's blood from a certain battle. Oh, that's right. I, for, I forgot the battle that he said was from whenever that battle. It that had to have used. been the one where he fought the Nomu. Yeah, that's where so, he... end of season four. Yeah. So he's sitting there. He's like, "My name's Dami. I'm in the league. Probably already know that. I've killed. I've killed inno- thirty innocent people. I was like, hmm. Oh. He was like, okay, innocent people. And he and said it, innocent. I'm guessing he, there's additional people that he's killed that he wouldn't deem innocent. Oh, yeah. And I do wonder, like, who are the, like, not specifically who is in, like, oh, maybe they're super important. But I, I do wonder who are these innocent people. Like, was it he started a fire and he killed them? Was it, like, he was on assignment for the league and he killed them? Like, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. But I'm curious for him to especially, like, emphasize that they were innocent people that he killed. Uh, I think it's more to discredit like their family because you got yeah. some dude just killing his people. But then he's like, oh, I also have another name. I have a cool other name. My name is uh, Toya. Toya. <laughs> Todoroki. To- and then everyone's just like... Fuck. And then, then it goes right to what you were just saying about like, I didn't think well, my family couldn't even recognize me. Then when he did the hair thing, like you said... Did the hair. Hair is white. I was literally and just he's... sitting here like this. I was like, this is bad. This is, oh boy. Shoto's <laughs> shooketh to the nth degree. Mm-hmm. Endeavors, again, he's shit for brains, Todoroki for me this episode, is standing there dumbfounded with the most idiotic look on his face. Like, that's not possible, which, again, I know he vehemently believed that Toya was dead. Everybody yeah. believed Toya was dead. Mm-hmm. 100%. But for him to be like, no, no, like we found a piece of a jawbone. Bruh. Flames. I will say, with, I, because I'm going to give him some credit, because when you have the doctor involved, everything's possible. That's true. Like I they just... could have played in a fake, like everything is. I mean, we're talking about the same All Might who didn't know, like, all those years he didn't know that Shigaraki was the grandson. Like, th- there's some like there's some stuff in here that's just, like... I guess. Maybe I just hate him too much that I'm just adding more shit on top of it. That's fine. And I'm personally okay with it. Anybody who is very, you know, pro-Endeavor, like, Redemption Arc, good for you. I am not on that train. <laughs> yeah, but... Sorry. He, he but... starts going. Like, he start. And I think the, the music, the mm-hmm. voice actor, the choreography of his moves. Yes. And like when he's starting to have fun, and I'm just sitting here, I was like, is this really happening? And he, I mean, he's reveling in it. And my thing, though, was like, uh, I didn't, 
my personal thing after like watching the whole episode after seeing everybody's reactions to the video like I really wish especially because during his speech he references how like his close relationship with Natsuo and Mm -hmm. telling Endeavor like you don't know like you never saw that I would cling to him and cry at night or whatever and I'm like yo and you're gonna tell him that you're alive at the same time as everybody else yeah you obviously cared about your mom cared about your sister I can't really for sure say Shoto because he did say that he considered killing him which okay like the jealousy the rage the whatever but I feel like at the very least he should have made a separate video or a previous announcement maybe even a five minute delay to his mom to Fuyumi and to Natsuo like to tell them and prepare them for the video that he was about to put out there because at the same time that they are grappling with the fact that their dead son or uh, brother is actually alive they also find out that he's killed innocent people he's joined the league of villains and he's attempting to discredit the entire hero system because as all of them know (laughs) the number two previously number two now number one hero is an actual piece of shit as a real person yeah so he i mean he talks about how he was the oldest yada yada him and his dad training and then obviously like having the the siblings so that he can have someone who can surpass him and all might and become the new number one hero and then when he got to Shoto, he even talked about um, Endeavor um, laying hands on um, his wife mm-hmm. during that. So, like, all that stuff. And I, see, that one would just discredit Endeavor. Mm-hmm. The one that I really sat up is when he was talking about, oh, your heroes. Well, the number two hero just killed him. So how do you feel about that? As he was was running away, like, because he was trying to save his friends and running away. And I was like, wait, wait, I was 100% on board with you. Like, let Endeavor burn. Like, let, no pun intended, but let Endeavor burn at the stake that he's created for himself. Like, 100%. Yeah. but But then the way he twisted the narrative for Fox killing twice. Like, as much as, like, a lot of us were emotionally impacted by Twice's death because he was a likable character, um, he was an easy character to root for, even though he was on, you know, the wrong side, it, it wasn't fair. Also, just <laughs> at the very end, the the techno guy being like, yeah, the editing was a little shoddy, but at least you got it in there. It's like, <laughs> Yeah, he got it. And that's why on the last episode, I made such a big deal about, like, Hawks killing him and mm-hmm. like saying that they had to him because the public doesn't like that's the first time any any hero's public talked about killing anyone. So now you see your number two hero because like he said, it's out there now. Now it's up to them to counter, but you've already changed people's minds. Well, You're right, out there and killing it, and... somebody. So mm-hmm. who's the real hero and villains? Like he he <laughs> he's almost systematically in that one video just broke the entire hero system. Yeah, what was left of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which there's two things on that actually. When well, if you're listening to this on Spotify and all this stuff, make sure you look for these other links. But if you're listening to it on YouTube, I'll have the links uh on this video because May 6, 2021, we act that was the complicated family dynamic of the Todorokis. Oh yes, the case study, the very first case study, the if I remember first, correctly. Yep. And questions we were like um asked is if you're a news reporter and you found out about an Endeavor's past, would you tell the press? What would that do to the hero society where it's been shambles? So kind of Dobby did what we talked about could happen if all this stuff comes out, which that happened, and then also to another case study we did that everything truly has gone to shit since All Might retired. Right. No, so 100%. Like, so right. it's like none of this stuff would ever come out if All Might was still like active. I will say, side note, like that I, I realized watching it is we didn't get All Might's reaction to the video. Like, no, we didn't. I, I feel like All Might is going to try to understand 
and be empathetic. But at the same time, like, for me, I'm going to be very disappointed if All Might doesn't call Endeavor out on that shit. Because, like, there's no, there's no excuse for that. There's no... And for me, I, I found it physically, like, repulsive during Endeavor's internal dialogue, hearing Dobby's story, like... Again, making that comment to, well, Ray wanted, you know, siblings so they could support each other. And I'm like, th- that's the biggest flip in the script I've ever heard. I want to hear more of Ray's thoughts during that video. I also want to hear more about her thoughts internally, because the only, what, what have we actually heard from her mouth directly? Telling Shoto that he can be any type of hero that he wants to be which is great. But then we also get the scene where she throws the hot water on Shoto's face. Mm -hmm. Do we hear much other audio from her? Does her voice actress get anything else? Oh, and the the line about that, that Endeavor's trying because he Mm -hmm. puts her favorite flower in her room. That's it. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what All Might's gonna do because... It's not his fault, but in theory, his master is the whole reason this world's gone to shit. Right. And so for me, it, again, it is definitely not an All Might's fault. 100%. But he would I just put had it a on call himself back. somehow. Though. Huh? He would find a way to put it on himself. Oh, 100%. He's that type of person. My thought is, even before all of this came out, though, in a flashback when Midoriya was training with Uraka... I think Froppy and Saro mm-hmm. to try to control Black Whip so he can get used to using Float before he gets Float, all that good stuff. All Might has that one-on-one kind of side conversation with Bakugo, letting Bakugo know, like, yeah, you and Midoriya need to have another conversation. And internally, he's like, I probably should have had that conversation with Endeavor or that type of conversation with Endeavor sooner. Yeah. And I think that's true. I think that could have been helpful. But again, it is not All Might's fault. Honestly, with Endeavor's headspace where it was, or at least from what we were shown, he probably would have brushed it off as an F you all might, you condescending, power tripping, whatever, and just blown him off. I don't know, because like now, because we're talking about like speculation, because now if we're if we're opening up these can of worms, like Shigaraki can make a video saying the reason I am is because all might's master abandoned me. So I'm not Mm -hmm. saying pick what your worst is on the wheel. Child abuse or child aban- abandonment, like well, and, abuse like, and neglect, because I yeah, mean, it's the same. Neglect. It's the same thing. <laughs> so I mean, like domestic violence are literally just abandonment. Pick whatever your worst. Take one your is. poison. Yeah, because yeah. like and well, and Elisa Devers make like it. Sh- it was shown and all that stuff when he saw her. She never tried to make amends. Like after she left, so it's like if she would have made amends, which Shigaraki would have been good, would all for one not have been able to get him. Do we have this whole thing? Because like you said, like when the first, when the opening came out, like Midoriya and Shigaraki, like having the same shoes, one of, you were like having the, the same shoes, the mirror, like one of them's in the dark, one of them's in the light. The other thing to go, like even with all of this hypothetical, even with the child abuse that was experienced, the domestic violence that was witnessed mm-hmm. um, with the abandonment and neglect, people have a choice on how they react and how they choose to go on about their lives. So even if everything would have still happened the way it did, it's helpful to have outside um, forces push you towards the better path, whereas Shigaraki had somebody literally <laughs> basically snatch him and take him into the dark, dunk him in it nice and nice and deep. Dobby, Toya, it seems like had a little bit more of a distinctive choice. I don't know how the doctor found him. Maybe the doctor brainwashed him as well. Well, um, he like he was trying to burn the whole place down because he was sick and tired of Shoto getting like all the attention, and then he right. overheated. So right. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So that's what how that's how that whole place burned down, and then Endeavor tried to look for him, couldn't find him. Also, again, it just makes this episode so better because while he's telling this, people get to see cute little Toya. Yeah. 
and then everyone's just like, "Oh kid. my god, yeah, sweet." And then to see what happened after that, and like he, like he was, yeah, when he, he just went crazy because now he's opened up a whole can of we can use the media for our mm-hmm. for like, our goals, which in the twenty first century, or well, are they still in the twenty first century? I would assume, yeah. Anyway, I know they're set slightly in the future. I don't think that far, but anyway, it's still a media. Mm -hmm. I think somebody made the comment. I don't remember who, but they basically said it's out there. They've made a statement. It doesn't matter what the follow up statement is. That first one is now out there. Like, yeah, that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. They got it out there first. So they get to control it. And that's, I mean, so just think of it from this standpoint now. This is out there. So you have your number one, number two hero discredited. Mm-hmm. One, which is again, pick your thing. One's a child. Oh, abuser. and they all think that the number three hero is dead because Dobby also mentioned in the video that, number that to two get into the league three. Yep. to be a spy, Hawks had to kill Blue Genist. Yeah, and they don't and they won't know he's alive until exactly. after this. So exactly. But they'll know if well if twice is, I mean twice is dead. But right. So number so number one now has been revealed as like sh- abuser but then some people are like well just from like thinking some people are like oh at least those people are still alive number two is a murderer mm-hmm. so that's now we're going to be talking about should number two get locked up mm-hmm. and then also whoever the powers to be because it's dobby still didn't explain how he knew hawks real name so he no, can have- but that's the other thing where I'm like, holy shit, he gets access. He's able to figure out Hawks' lineage. That's yeah. the other big reveal in here. We got some information about Hawks' lineage. Mm-hmm. Has Hawks' real name, but it, it, but well, somehow- he can expose that company too, and then that could be a whole other thing. Yeah. Because I feel like that's a company that's not a public- like a public thing so right. that's bad um so those things are happening there's a lot of I mean, there's a lot of people who are dead so mm-hmm. that's happening Midoriya is leaving so that's happening so at the end of this it's just going to be a whole pile of crap yep <laughs> i mean what the doctor's what? still going to be alive which means he's going <laughs> shigaraki's only at 75 they're going to retreat the heroes are going to get lazy you're like, oh, we'll beat him next time. If you struggled against a 75% Shigaraki and he comes well, that's back the other four thing. My, from my, now. my biggest thing with all of that is he's 75% and he laid waste to an entire city and some. Yeah, and he's going to be 100 move. next time you see he him. He could just decide one morning to just be like, nah, today's the day, fuck you. Like, they don't... Shigaraki, again, is acting like a brat again. So he literally could just decide to set off his decay whenever the fuck he wants. Yeah, so... And nobody can do anything about it. Eraser heads lost a leg, so his mobility is diminished. Yeah, that man's been on death's door all season. Literally, he's been on death's. He's been saved, or literally, I mean, every time he's about to die. Also, can we talk about how the fuck he's able to cut his leg off so easily with a knife? Like, Strong knife. I'm just no. Saying, unless it's sword quality. I'm just okay. saying. I'm sure. Well, we'll let it go. Just like his floating fucking neck scarf like that doesn't make any sense either but whatever we'll let we'll let him have it because he's cool and i love him saying but it's rough here now because, <laughs> it's rough to be a hero right now like 100%. yeah it's rough to be anyone but dom because now i mean i'll be very interested to see how they do it in the english dub mm-hmm. when that comes out but i just can't believe he was gonna kill him too with providence bird he was gonna yeah, kill everyone was. there I he didn't very... care if he died either. No, 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 no. This for for Dobby. I mean, he didn't really care if it was a suicide mission. I was actually very proud of Shoto being willing to stand his ground and move against his brother, um, even with the tears in his eyes. That broke my heart watching that. Well, they fight in the next episode. We'll see how long. And then you know, we I forgot to mention how bad it is because you have Giga Monster over here. And then you mm-hmm. still have all the super high end mo- nomus just yeah, killing all the all high end the- nomus that we haven't been watching because oh, like they're, they're not even the that no-names. important compared to everything else going on. But it's like holy shit, these high end nomus are probably killing people left and right. Oh yeah, they're they're killing every single person right now. So that's 
it's bad out. But this episode did truly deliver. And then also it was announced that there's only after that episode, there's only three more, more episodes. Three yeah. more. Three more. Oh, three so, more. Okay. Yeah. It says three episodes left until the end of the first part of part six. So this unless this unless Dobby's counted as the part of the three, then there's only two more. So if there's only two more, it'd be the 19th. No, it'd be the 18th. What is this? No, today's the... Today's the 14th. Yeah, so it'd be this Saturday and then Christmas Eve. Mm-hmm. Which, if I injure a bunch, I think someone's probably going to be dead on Christmas Eve. Yeah, great. But I'm just uh, going to go ahead and not watch that episode. Then I'm going to rewatch the um, Christmas episode from, what, season five? Yeah, so long ago. Well, let's let's go back to season five when everybody had their own personalized Santa hats and Aerie got all the holidays confused, like the adorable little munchkin that she is. Yeah, I don't know why Midori was trying to stand up in the preview. He, he can't do shit. Like he's I down. Know. He's done too. He he is down and out for the count, and I don't think he like he had that moment where he was like the flashback to being told that he can't you know use his arms like mm-hmm. that, or he's never going to be you know have full function of his arm ever again mm-hmm. and he just fucking went for it again i get the feeling that plot armor is gonna make it so that he can still use his arm but like that was reckless that was reckless as hell yeah so don't i mean more people are gonna die because blue genus is really not well you see in the previews that he's bleeding because he's using all yeah. the strength to hold everyone obviously right. he has to probably he probably lets go of Dobby and tells Shoto to fight him because he has to use everything on the little monster over there. And, and that's ha- fine. Honestly, if he can take care of Big Bro in the corner, like, that's more than enough. Like, man, <laughs> please, just yeah. put this monster down. It's if shown that anesthetic too. was going to start kicking in, it should start kicking wow. in soon. Like, I don't think that's going to reopen in. a whole nother wound for me about, like, why the fuck would you all throw your canisters at the same goddamn time? Like, Ugh. I don't think that cancer is going to work. I think finally Sugar Rise is going to be like, you know, I could literally just get healed and come back another day. I don't have to do this. Let's retreat. And then they just run off with their monster and the doctor and the whole league. Oh, but before that, before that, the other thing that got me, because again, I've never read the manga. I do know that Compress has a handsome ass face, Mr. Compress. But what was his comment about that you have an interesting family or heritage too. Yeah, so he's related to someone. Who is he related to? Like what? Uh it'd have to be someone of it has to be someone of it has to be someone value. noteworthy. And that's why I'm just so like, wait, 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 what? We've never seen anybody with this type of quirk. Maybe it's gonna be one of the other top ten heroes. Maybe it's another hero that was super big in the past that we've never heard of. But like what? <laughs> Yeah, he, that was another like the actual you know moment hasn't come yet, but that was another like little nugget that I was not expecting at all. Yeah, unless I mean that would be plot fun. twist. He and Shigaraki are related. Nah, he's gonna be related to. Is he gonna be related? Is he gonna be related to Overhaul? That'd be well. That'd be kind of messed up seeing your own people get smoked, but. I feel like... And he took his arm. And he took his arm. He's going to be related to someone. I don't know who, but it has to be... It's either he's related to someone who's alive now, or, like, he's the last of, like, this dynasty legendary, like, yeah. dynasty. Like, if he says something like, oh, well, I'm the last... Like, I'm the Airbender. last... <laughs> the last direct <laughs> direct ascend, descendant of the first person who had quirk, a quirk. Oh, the 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 light baby. Yeah, yeah. like I'm the last like direct. Well, then does that make line. him related to? Well, this theory hasn't been confirmed, but we do. It has been postulated that Hagakure is related to the light baby because she also has a light related quirk. Um, Actually, also, have we seen her? Okay, not that wasn't a pun, but like, have we? No, she was she been... with the students that tried to? No. Okay, so she's missing. Shinso's well, missing. Well, it's too late for this shit. The shit ends in two episodes, and no one's coming. Monoma's missing. Like, yeah, 
Well, I mean, there's a lot of people missing. There's a whole war going on, and that other school didn't get called because now That's we're at bullshit. the. That is we're... such bullshit. Miss Joke was involved. She should have pulled their asses out too. Wow, well, she only called one. So, because this is at this point now, if you weren't in these episodes, you're not. The only thing I could see any of those people being at the last episode of this first part is like epilogue stuff. Mm. Like they show one big thing of like all of class 1A and class 1B asking where's Midoriya and why is he leaving yada yada because they weren't listening. So yeah, because that's the other thing because he's going to tell his whole class why he's chasing Adam. That's all other. That's going to tell. That's a whole other thing. Who didn't listen? But no, it's it's bad out. And there's a couple more episodes until this is until part until two season six part one is done. Because season six in total is 25 episodes. So we're getting a lot. And people don't realize that, I mean, we're chugging along on this show, depending on what they do. Because there's only, like, one, like, real big arc left. Right. Everything else is, like, in, like they're all into the same, like, the final, final battle arc or whatever the hell mm-hmm. it's called. And so. that hasn't even been finished. No, not yet. Written yet. Mm-mm. They're close. They're like in the end game ish, mm. but not like we're not having the final battle with Shigaraki and like Midoriya. Which you know, what's funny too. As strong as he is, can you imagine if like all these why like why these quirks didn't activate for All Might or anyone else? Yes, yes, and I think I I referenced that slightly in a previous episode. I. Put- Cannot for the life of me remember when, but I was wondering because there were there has to be something about the ninth user. There has to be something about the number nine. It also mirrors the fact that you know the the villain from the Heroes Rising movie had nine quirks and his code name was. Nine. I think there's something about the number nine. Maybe it's the um. It could be just like the author's favorite number, so he wanted to. It's one of the, it could be one of those things. Oh, or- for sure. But I also wonder if there's just some sort of mathematical significance that the amplification once it hits nine becomes very unstable and untenable and it shouldn't go past that um or i don't know i'm just throwing stuff out there seeing if it sticks but well, he's getting all these because like i've said a long time he's the last one yeah well of course that's yeah part of the story but i mean i also wonder about if he survives well that too <laughs> regardless I am very curious about a couple of those users because, again, in that side conversation with Bakugo, Bakugo mentioned something about, was it the seventh user? The sixth? So it was one of the users, the previous users that there was very little information on. And All Might was like, I'm worried about him just like you are. So, like, I'm not sharing this information yet. And it's like, wait, what? Like, why? And then when Midoriya was in that, I forget what realm they were calling it, but I'll basically just call it the spirit realm. The it's internal. basically their internal yeah. like the my hero internal plane place yes thank you internal plane that's a better word so like the internal plane the first time he's there he can see most most of the users but two of them in- specifically were completely blacked out so like i i'm very curious about those two are we going to learn about that or are we just not going to ever have that answered uh, like, I, if- think, I think we will i think they're going to do it in like chunks and whatnot because each time he's going to learn something new they'll get their own like side story that's fair but like there's not much time left that's where i'm so confused about like i mean there's there's gonna be they can do it in the next arc like this next part too is this this war's over in this like thing and then the next 20 12 episodes they can do it then that's 12 episodes because it's going to be focused on him leaving so he's going to be by himself for like half a season (laughs) It just makes me really sad to know that this this whole show is going to end without us getting to follow them through graduation. Who's really going to become the big three when they're seniors, if they even become seniors, Who who's like when they actually oh, become heroes, wow. if they become heroes, like professional heroes, because technically right now they only have their provisional licenses. So, no, this yeah. ends this will end in their first year and then we may get Isn't an it epilogue. Second? Wait. Are they still in their first year? Or they're about they to start their second. Uh, they would have to be in their first year because the big three would have graduated. That's true. That's true. Yeah, this is, and I Jesus did see, a, I did see like a piece at the manga, where the author like drew a picture of like 
the big three, like potentially like at a graduation, what it would look like. But Aww. but yeah, we're gonna get their first year. Then we're gonna get an epilogue. If that. If that's a big fat if. Um, Damn. Oh, it's it's rough, but this is. I'm almost not emotionally ending. ready for this to be over. Honest to God, like I'm I'm not. I mean, it's only a break, and then I'll. It'll come back next year. I don't no, know no, no, no. I mean the entire series. Oh, like, you still have. We still have some time on that. Well, okay. But like at the same time, not throwing in Demon Slayer again during this podcast, but like Demon Slayer is almost done too. Like I am not emotionally ready to have to try to fill that <laughs> anime void in yeah, my the, life when the both of them finish. But when they, when they put that in, yeah, but that was a shorter Demon Slayer, in all honesty, if you are dedicated, you can read the whole series in a weekend. That sounds like a challenge, and I want to read it in a day. It's not, if I don't remember, it's not even like 300, it's like, I know it's not under, it's under 500 chapters. Mm. I I know it is, it's like super low, lowest of one of the big things. But just think about it, your Demon Slayer is entering season three. My hero, this is season freaking six, this is gone for like six years. Yeah. Think like you gotta think like most like six six seasons, it's gonna get season seven. And then right. depending on how long they stretch it out, whatever, season eight, they're gonna potentially get another movie. There's not that many animes right now. Six seasons and three movies. It's true. I mean, they've been in the, now they're getting a Netflix live action adaptation because it's been so oh, that's right. So that's successful. Right. I mean this season really, that, is, that is not gonna go well i'm so sorry i just uh, mm. nah, it, it won't but <laughs> uh, to hear what it is but i understand what you're saying though but there's there'll be things to fill depending on how these people work over there and scheduling and all that stuff since demon slayer is coming back in april april so, yeah april and they're showing a one hour thing in movie theaters if you want to see it in march Yes. Don't know if us normal people get those movie theaters or if it's just the Hollywood people, but we'll most see. likely. But we can but, still hope and dream. Oh yeah, one one hundred percent. Andrew, anything else on what the community is calling one of the best episodes of all time? Of definitely of anime season of anime season and of My Hero Academia season six. I would say that. At, for this anime like season, I haven't been watching too closely, I will admit, um, to some other series. But for me, I would feel confident in voting this the best episode of this anime season. Like, for just the shows that are out now, the moments that I've seen, I would feel mm. very confident saying that for this episode. I And it definitely is, for me, at least it's, the top 10, maybe even top 5 episodes of My Hero ever agreed on the my hero thing but this yeah it's in fact from the shows i've been watching this season i mean there's there's an og big three named kurosaki ichigo who would have something to say about that's valid i do for for reference everybody i do not watch bleach i have not watched bleach um i know i need to get into it eventually maybe that'll that's how i'll feel my emotional anime void is i'll finally because they they are killing it right now I mean, there's a reason they've been number one so far. The past Have they? I haven't been paying attention to the standings. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, they, it's like it's literally fluid, fluctuates by the week. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sure Dobby's dance is going to push my hero somewhere. Like, then you have an anime we've never heard of in there. And then you'll have like Chainsaw Hop in. Like, mm-hmm. this season's just been wild. And then this year is going to be over. And then we have Demon Slayer to look forward to. We have Jujutsu Kaisen to look forward to. For people we who have watch Tokyo it, Revengers to look forward to, which is on Disney Plus, which means I'm that I don't I get Disney's trying to I don't know if I was Disney I don't think that'd be the anime I would spend X amount yeah of no on, so. no 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 the twelve year olds with no supervision killing people yeah no but <laughs> they, they should have grabbed Spy Family honest to God that would have been more wholesome but they picked that so whatever and then you have the um tenth season series ending of Attack on Titan so. yes. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff coming out. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anything else, Andrea? Um, no, I don't think so. Thank you for tuning in for our special episode. Um, kind of right before we're gonna record our normal reaction videos. Um, we appreciate your support. Interact with us. Let us know if you think we're full of hot, hot air or if you agree with us. 
Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing else to add to that. But the next time you probably hear from us will be when this is over. When part one is part one of season. Oh, six you think so? Over. How many episodes yeah. has it been so far? Wouldn't well, this be number three? The timing wise, because since we're doing this and then it would make no sense to just do those episodes because then we would only have to be able to talk about like one episode. So we might as well just. That's true. That's that mean... true. So, yeah. So we'll be back to then review the ending of season six, part one, which is wild. But with that being said, thank you everyone for listening to the L7C podcast. Make sure you listen to those case study ones because now if you listen to the All Might and the Endeavor one, then listen to this all in a row, putting pieces is it gonna, together. Is it gonna, I kind of forgot about the All Might one. Yeah, that's right. That's another good one to listen to after was, watching this episode. Or yeah. yeah. Was All Might being a symbol of peace actually detrimental to the Hero Society? And yes, that's right. Looking like it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to rain on the parade, guys. Yeah. So with that being said, this is the L7C podcast signing out. Thank you for listening to this episode of the L7C Podcast. Be sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media platforms, and we'll be talking to you guys soon. Take care.